In this part, I will get some of the masteries done so we can go to the hardcore world as a noob without any robux. So, let's start. My idea would be that we do the axe masteries because we can grind at the same time for some index pets. So it wouldn't be that dumb to do that. We can get the rank rewards. After that we just go on the pet index and let's see what I already have and not. Alright, so I really don't have that much. So we can easily hatch some pets in every egg let's delete everything because they are not that good get the dog this is something new to be honest a white bunny something new too a dog sadly again but let's do the process now faster with this egg and the golden egg we got all the pets let's check the pet index we have now 113 pets we had before 105 so it's a good upgrade let's hatch now this egg that's really weird i hatched like 50 in eggs and nothing happened so let's go to the golden egg instantly we have now a pet index of 118 pets. We only need 32 pets more and we can get already one pet plus equipped. I don't even have that much coins anymore. So I think I should go to the last area. This is the volcano area and kaboom and I'm rich. I have 18 billion. I think this is enough, but not sure. 37 billion, 100% enough. Let's hatch again. Also, I only have level 13 and level 8 golden and normal eggs mastery. So, it will take a long time. How much do I get per hatch? We have 1725 and we get 75. I need to hatch about 11,000 eggs or more to get finished. So, yeah, um, I don't think I will hatch that many for the pet index, but I'm sure I will hatch for 150 pets. Got instantly a golden monkey. I have now about 128 pets, so it isn't that bad. We only need about 22 more. We have now 139 pets in the index, so we only need 11 more. And we are finished with the pet index, so not completely, but we are completed with the first extra pet and one extra pet wouldn't hurt at all. I'm not sure but I think I finally got 150. Yeah, we got it! Redeem? Okay, let's go! We can equip now one more pet. This is really, really OP. Let's see how much we make now per tick at the big chest. About 150,000, but we need to multiply that by 6. And this is about 900k. So from 700k to 900k is a really good upgrade. So now I will AFK hatch this egg. And maybe if we are lucky... No, wait. Let's don't do that, but do a other egg. And we need the egg where there is no common pet because when I'm recording this, this is from a day where the banana pet is in here and maybe we can hatch it. So I want to try my luck here. No, no. This is this a common pet? I'm not sure, but I think yeah. Yep, this is a basic common pet. This maybe this is rare. I'm not sure. Nah, basic, 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 basic. Basic and at the axolotl, I think it is not that good because I really don't have that much rainbow coins. But this is basic too, and this too. Let me real quick google what I can find. So I found that the hacker egg is a good egg, but how much does this in gems cost? 500,000 
gems. Let's do it. Why not? All right. And this is about three billion. Oh wait, this is too expensive. Wait, I need to try to get something good. Glitch area. This will not be a big problem though. Let me real quick use some potions and let's see how much it gives. So um, yeah, I just wasted five hundred thousand gems. I can now maybe try the heaven's egg, but this costs about I don't know how much. But let's try how much I get per thing for breaking the chest. So maybe I grind like five to ten minutes and I can hatch them for a very long time. It's about yeah, let's say eighteen billion. I know it's not uh, it's not correct, but three hundred eighteen billion. This would be about 50 hatches per chest breaking, so I could grind like 10 minutes or something like that. And after that, I can just easily hatch the eggs. So, let's do that. So, after a little time, I have pretty many coins. Let's collect the other ones too. I have about 460 billion, so yeah, this will be enough for like an eternity. So let's ready it up and the auto clicker is ready. So let's hatch now for a very good long time. See you later. After a pretty good time, I'm here and let's see what level we are. We are level 20. This is really, really bad, to be honest. There would be a other threat, but yeah, I don't know if it's worth it, but let's try it, to be honest. The first thing would be to make pet sending to single and go to the haunted island. And here we have like coin piles and presents, crates, wolves, safes, chests. So yeah, so the strat would be to go on here, make an auto clicker and turn around all the time. That's the strat, to be honest. So yeah, let's try that for like 30 minutes or something like that and see you after the time lapse. After a good time of grinding, I can finally collect some of the coins so it doesn't get that laggy. And I also make now really good, how it's called, um, really good gems. So let's check the masteries and it's about 22%. I need only 3% more and then we are ready to go to the hardcore world. So let's get back to grinding. And here I am back again. It is a very laggy. Okay, now it's not anymore. But let's collect the free gift. Hmm? Good. Like not a free gift, but a gift. And yeah, how much percent do we have masteries? We have 24%. We need about 20 more levels on the masteries so we can finally get to the hardcore world. So see you after a time lapse again. And here I am again. It is again very laggy, but it gets better. And let's see how much masteries we have now done. And it's 25%. Let's go. We can go now to the teleport, to the void. And from here, we can go to hardcore mode. So the game starts and we are getting slowly in the hardcore mode after so long time. After eight episodes of this series and here we are welcome to hardcore you can leave at any time in the teleport menu good luck also small clip i will real quick redeem every gift in hardcore mode so i can get some good coins and gems 18,420 coins. This is it with the episode. I would appreciate a sub and a like. Also click on this playlist here, up left, to see the other parts of this series. It's interesting to see how I got as a noob to the hardcore mode, without any trades and robux.